Hi, this is John for Outstanding Poker. I'm back with another video. This is to do with a, a strategy that I use when I'm moving between limits. If I'm going to a higher limit, I'll start off playing this new level, playing a six to big blind strategy. It seems to be working well, working so well that a lot of times now I look for a solid reason to have 100 big blinds in my stack. Uh, so let's get into this 60 big blind strategy. Like I said, it's it's a good strategy to use when you're taking shots at a higher limit. And uh, like I said, when, when uh, these are the reasons to use it. Taking shots at a higher limit, and we want to take some pressure off the bankroll. Because it's going to lower our variance, and it's going to help us to take a shot at a higher level for a long pe longer period of time. E.g., sometimes you might be playing a, a 50 buying bankroll strategy and you move up but you decide that you're going to move back down after you lose, after you drop back down to 40 buyings for that level. Well, obviously if you're playing a, a short stack it's going to take you a bit longer to lose than 10 buyings. And um, obviously it might help you to just actually get settled at that level and then you can switch to a 100 big blind strategy again if you want. I know most guys seem to always want to play 100 big blind strategy. I think there's a bit of an ego issue there, but never mind. But yeah, one of the reasons, these are more reasons to use it, I suppose. Um, most good regs are, are just basically swapping money between each other. Like, for example, when they're getting it in pre-flop, 100 big blinds deep, then we're usually swapping the money Swapping our money with the, with them with the top of our ranges, whether that be pre-flop or post-flop. I mean, usually when regs at like, well, this is, to, I'm talking about regs at mainly like 50 no limit and higher. That, well, even 25 actually. That a lot of the regs are just get, uh, just like barreling off uh, three streets with like sets and stuff like that. So, and then you might get it with sets, so you're getting set over set every now and again. So it's just like hitting the top of each other's ranges. And pre-flop, you're just getting it in, you know, with ace-king versus queens and just swapping money with coin flips and stuff like that, you know, kings versus aces where you just, you're going to be on the wrong side and the right side of that about the same amount of time, so that's just swapping money as well. So another reason to use it is because a lot of the weaker players buying short stacked anyway, so if we can cover them with 60 big blinds, then that's great. And also this is where the... This is a, these are the players that our win rate comes from mainly. Especially once you get to like um, 50 no limit, 100 no limit, especially 100 no limit and higher. Very rarely do I see any weak player now at 100 no limit buying for more than 60 big blinds. The only time when they sat there with 100 big blinds is when they've actually managed to win a decent pot. And now they've, they've uh, chipped up from 60 big blinds to closer to 100. So usually if they've just joined the table, we're going to be covering them anyway. So we've got, and basically what I do is if I have position on this, on a weaker player and he has 100 big blinds, then I'll buy him 100. Uh, because there's definitely got your edges there. And I don't mind losing like a big stack when he just, when he gets lucky with a seven deuce flush that hits or something like that. But anyway. And also, if I haven't got a uh, position on the weaker play, I'd probably still, at the moment, I'm still actually sticking to just, just uh, playing uh, 60 big blinds because I haven't got the best shot at winning that guy's money. The regs to the left of him have got the best shot at winning that guy's money. But it's still good to be at a table with that guy. So I'd still probably just sit there with 60 big blinds if I haven't got a position on him. So let's look, look at some of the pre-flop advantages of the 60 big blind strategy. Our three bets get more respect as regs are less likely to four bet light to 25 big blinds as if we shove our 60 big blinds in then they'll be priced into call some of their bluff fans because of our short stack size. Staying out of tough four bet spots will also lower our variance for sure. If someone raises and we three bet with our shorter stack opponents can't set mine profitably. So running into less sets is going to reduce our variance significantly as well. So these are pretty good uh, small things that are going to lower his variance. And here's a classic scenario that, I've, that I, 
I believe is happening quite a lot. Where a reg raises three big blinds, middle position with sevens, 